What do you think? Is it gonna happen? I think we're gonna raise the sail. Even if we have to go off course, we're gonna sail. This morning we are headed to the PP Islands, which is one of the most popular island destinations here. I think it's gonna be pretty busy. Could be a cool scene once we hit land. Today we have some wind. I'm guessing maybe eight to 10 knots. And putting out the sails, we were able to kick off one of the engines and go from 4.8 knots of speed to about five, five and a half knots of speed. So we're using half as much diesel and going even faster. So can't complain about that. We had just a hair more wind and we turned the motors off, but it is what it is. At least we got the sails up and everything worked. It's always good. I think that's the end of our uh, motor sailing. Uh, the wind has just died too much. It's fluctuating all over the place. It's not happy. I don't even have the lines on which that's how there's zero pressure on the sail. <laughs> We have grabbed a mooring ball that we did not expect to be here because in the little guidebook that Suntail gives us, it says, do not take any of the moorings as they are too close to the reef. And we can see all of the tour operators here, which is where those mooring balls are. But this is like a yellow day use one and it's much further out. Man, those it's engines so are freaking loud. It's like tractors. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it's new, but we're gonna take it and test it and sit here for a bit. And if all is good, then this is supposed to be like some of the best snorkeling slash diving in Thailand, aside from the Similian. Similian Islands. So I think this might be as good as we're gonna get. This is Chicken Island, which is where we left from this morning. And we have sailed to this little area here, which is the Bamboo Island. And then this is Pee Pee Island. This is our final destination. Making a quick lunch before we head out for a snorkel, and this is Meat Zero. I don't normally buy too many alternatives, like I just make food out of plants, but I thought it's interesting to try that out, so that's what we're having today. As I'm cooking, it's unreal the amount of heat that comes off of having a propane stove top. I forget about it every time because we typically use induction and then every time I have to come back and use propane again, it's just, it just generates so much heat. I'll leave it at that and I can't help myself because we're <laughs> building a boat and I am always thinking about it. And even this boat, it's such a similar size to what ours will be. So I keep looking around and like assessing and analyzing everything, sort of like what ideas can I take away? Have they done anything really great that I should consider? And also like anything bad, like I don't know, so many little things. And the stove and the kitchen setup being one of them. Like, you need another bit here. <laughs> <laughs> what you shaped you shape. or, Yeah, you shaped galley and still a fan of and uh, induction still very much a fan of. Is it Tuesday? We got tacos. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Tuesday, but we can pretend. It's Taco Tuesday every day. <laughs> Most important part of the meal. Dessert. Dessert. <laughs> Ugh, with my favorite, dragon fruit. Love it so much. Not bad, the zero meat. Hmm. Can't beat the view at this restaurant. <laughs> Is that what you're about to say? I was thinking that and then. Yeah. Just like, what a perfect day.
why they put the little rubber thingy around to keep from chafing. It's also easy to pull the line through around the mooring in, but uh, this one doesn't have it. Makes it more fun. <laughs> yeah. We're off. Check out this place. I know. Holy cow. I was gonna make us dinner, but I, now I'm thinking. We should go to dinner. <laughs> we should go to dinner. I mean, look at this place. Yeah. It looks so cute. It's ringing. Yay. Yes, hello, is this the resort? Yes, you guys um, need a reservation. <laughs> Very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> and she could hear you. Over that thing? Yeah, I know. It's just, she's like, where are you? Oh, you're on a yacht. I could, she could tell by the, <laughs> <laughs> by the loud noises. <laughs> so we're going to dinner there. Awesome. Nice. Put on my nicest dress. Get more jewelry for this one. Oh, these are my earrings from my sister-in-law. Her name is Alexis. Alexis, I love you so much. And she makes these out of Charleston, South Carolina. And I adore them. She gave me like three pairs for Christmas and I wear them almost every video, as many of you have noticed. So, that's where I got these. We're gonna make it, nice and dry. I'm not standing up, it's nope. not stable enough for that. Nope. Need, it either needs more air, or it's just not a great board, I don't know which. That's gonna be a win. <laughs> Everybody's so nice. Made it all dry. Look at that. <gasps> Hydration headed my way. The papaya salad is probably one of my all time favorite things. I could eat this all day, every day. Panay curry with veggie and tofu. And then Jason got a pad thai with prawns. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so full. It's so good. Scale of one to ten. Eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. We're gonna have to uh, paddle out of the little channel because the tide has changed dramatically in just the hour that we were here. Our beach is gone. <laughs> I am so stuffed. I think stop off our wonderful date night. We are gonna do a little movie night out on the deck, which I miss doing so much. Just be able to be out underneath the stars, breeze. It's just a really very good atmosphere out here. And fun travel tip. If you wanna get into local pop culture, then check out local TV shows and movies, which you can do using today's sponsor and our favorite travel app, no doubt, Surfshark VPN, because Surfshark is an app, a web browser extension that encrypts all of our data, so it keeps all of our devices safe while we're surfing abroad, but also lets us change our IP address to virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world, to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise. And we've used it to unblock apps like Venmo, or even Spotify is really funny in certain countries. And then of course we use it to unblock additional libraries on Netflix, or sometimes just log in back to the USA so that we can watch our favorite shows that maybe aren't available in whatever country we're currently in. So if you want to log in to Thailand and be able to watch some of these shows with us. And spoiler alert, if you like fantasy, they have a ton of content for you. So you're welcome if that's what you're into. But maybe you like British humor and you can find all new shows to watch from over there or log into New Zealand and see what the Kiwis are up to. You just options are almost endless. It's whatever country you want to log into. Plus it has a clean web feature, which means that we can surf 
in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, or phishing attempts. It's seriously an invaluable tool for us. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get three extra months for free. And most importantly, if you're not sure if it's a good tool for you, no worries. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee so there is no risk to try it out. You can just scan the QR code that Jason will put somewhere <laughs> on the screen or use the link down in the description box below. Now, I love the question is, are you interested in watching a Thai vampire movie? Roll that beautiful bean footage. Let's do it. The movie is so bad. It can be really good. It's really bad. We don't know what to do. Well, after our movie night, I went to bed. The temperature just got warmer and warmer and warmer. I swear it was 100 degrees and 100% humidity. We did not sleep last night. Like, and you got a free shower. Well, the way this boat's designed is there's like a drain hole on the hard top right where the, the hatch opens. So about two in the morning, you get boosh, <laughs> water everywhere. <laughs> oh man, that was, uh, that was pretty brutal. So anyway, it has been really hot and I haven't been making hot coffee. So what I've been doing is cold press or cold brew. You can buy it at the store. It always makes me laugh when I see it at the store because it's like the easiest thing in the world to make. So I'm gonna show you my recipe here. You take whole ground beans, you grind them up. You have coarse ground straight into a pitcher, 12 ounces of water per thingy of <laughs> coffee. They don't recommend you drink the water here out of the taps or from the boat because it was filled from the tap. So we have to use this purified water. And I don't really have a measuring cup, but my AG1 bottle has 12 ounces. Give it a stir. And then for my second one, I'm gonna only do 10 ounces because I know we're gonna add ice to each cup after we serve it. You can even do less water if you add milk or whatever, if you like. And then in, and I pour most of it, give it another stir. This is probably just my, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> slightly uh, obsessive. Uh, and then I use a little bit of extra water to rinse off my spoon so I don't waste any grounds. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh, then this is the beauty. You're just highly efficient. Yes, yes. Make sure it's sealed so it doesn't have any like onion flavor or whatever flavors are going on in your fridge. Technically it's 12 to 24 hours. You should take the grounds out and put it in a different vessel. That's the way you should do it. Or drink it fast enough so you don't have to worry about it. Yes, but for us this will last two days and it tastes fine on the second day. It doesn't taste over extracted. It's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to be fine. okay with it. I'm just, this is a new me. I just turned 43. 42. 42. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So, you know, I'm trying to just, you know, go with the flow, minus the grounds on the coffee spoon. So that's how you make cold brew. PB Island is apparently a happening place. The tourist boats have been coming non-stop, people coming and going, and even though it has been raining since about two o'clock this morning, we got that nice um, fresh bath right in the face, <laughs> wake up cold. <laughs> And it is not stopped until just about the last half an hour. Man, every boat should be built with rain capture. There should be no boat built without it. It just, there was like buckets and buckets of water coming off of this boat. It's incredible how much you can get in a good rainstorm. And even though it has been raining, there was a boat that came in last night and it must be like the local ferry. There's were multiple boats coming over, loading up supplies. One of the boats was definitely from the resort right here and they were clearly getting like building supplies and everything else. And it's such a reminder of like life out here on these islands is so drastically different and everything has to be thought of in advance and you wait longer for it so like time and effort is just more difficult whenever you are here i mean even coming to stay at one of these resorts it's an island there's no airport or anything here and it's a fair distance from the the mainland so 
You're going to take the ferry and you're going to hop on another little boat that's now going to bring you around to your resort. You're not getting here by car per se. Everything is done by boat. It's not easy to run a business from here. It's not easy necessarily to live here. So I just have such a level of respect for these people because it's not easy. And it's sort of like boat life in a way. You are your own floating island right and everything is a degree more difficult than it would be if you just had a house in a reasonably easy to access area on land you have to love it or it's just it's too much day work <laughs> anyway we were going to originally kind of go around and go explore the other side but because it was so rainy we thought mm, we'll just get some work done now that the rain has stopped i think maybe it's time to go see what we can find on land huh uh huh. Uh -huh. Put my computer away. Uh -huh. Let's go. There are cabins or little bungalows all the way up here. You would not. This isn't a, like you go down for breakfast and you're like, oh man, I forgot my sunglasses. No, <laughs> I mean, you can, but wow. Exercise, just getting to your room. Oh. Anyway, we paddled over here, asked the resort. He said, okay, if we leave our paddle boards here, told them what we wanted to do. They were like, absolutely no problem. We will watch your boards. Keep an eye on your boat for you. Told us exactly how to get there. Make sure to stop at these viewpoints. By the way, they're gonna charge you 30 baht. Did you bring cash? Like just so helpful and so nice. And you never know what you're gonna get. Some resorts are kind of like great cruisers, you know, like, no, don't come ashore, guests only. And then other places like this are like, sure, come over, have lunch, enjoy, you know, a beverage, get a coconut, whatever you wanna do, like happy to have you. So anyway, really nice welcome. It's super, super friendly people. Start of the trail. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh. They are so thick. Yeah. I can see nine million of them. <laughs> At least around you. Do you see them around yeah, yeah, me? Yeah, I see them around both of us. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're not going to film very much. No. Nope. We're going to run up basically yeah. because we don't want to get eaten alive. And we're wearing bug spray. <laughs> yeah, we have bug spray on. And I did check. Malaria is not common here. And dengue is also not common here. So we have that going for us. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're going the right way. Woo, detox. Look at this sweat. Man, the sweat is just dripping. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> it is not raining. Yeah, holy cow, it is humid. There's a little baby one right here playing with his tail. Oh, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see him. What's up? Much butt. <laughs> see his long tail swinging. Yep. Double mosquito. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Yep. Like I'm the ice cream truck and I'm playing the jingle and all the kids come a running. Everybody wants a piece of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. My blood stick brings all the skeeters to the yard. <laughs> They're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Hey, these things happen on hikes. Sometimes you're just overwhelmed by song. Or at least I am. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, all the little mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, the jungle is opening up. I can feel a breeze. I don't see the mosquitoes the same. <gasps> hi, hi. <laughs> oh, there's so many butterflies. We've seen all kinds. It's just they've moved too fast. Check out that tree. Something about this one plant. I don't know what that is. But that is the butterfly plant. Oh my gosh. Don't want to interrupt you. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. Oh, let me see you. 
<laughs> Daily migration. This one looks fancy. Oh, this is where you paid the 30 baht. Ah, okay. Let's pay our 30 baht. 10 cents? A dollar. A dollar each. Yeah. Uh, what do you think that is? <laughs> These beautiful flowers with the spiky base. They're so cool. It's the quiet side. Yeah. Oh yeah. Earned this one. Rehydrate after all that. Can I see you digging your toes in the sand? Yes. Oh my goodness. Also trying really hard not to scratch. I am like <laughs> dotted all over. We applied bug spray four times. Didn't matter. Sometimes the natural stuff just isn't going to gut it. You can put all the lemongrass and citronella and lavender you want. It's not going to deter them. You need something toxic. You and the mosquitoes. <laughs> they are very cruiser friendly here. Guy came back up and he's like, oh, how was your hike? Did you make it to all the viewpoints? Yeah. So very welcoming here. So if you are cruising in the area, pee pee relax. Good spot. Name, no name. No name. No name. Yeah, no name. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Red Catalan. This is how you wake up without coffee. It's 6.30 in the morning. We're up. It's raining. It's chilly. We're going. Well, that's okay. You can trim it in tighter. Good start. A little lower. Okay. That's a squall. <laughs> and some breakfast. Last night ended up a little bit crazy. Hopefully that lights on Twitch. We got back and we were having our coconuts and then the same guy that gave us the information on like, okay, yep, follow the trail, go this way, you know, yada yada, before we left, came back. He's like, oh, how was it? Just chit-chatting. Turns out um, he is the owner of that resort and he has owned it for, this is a 21, 21 or 20, years, 22 yeah. years. Yeah, I think something like that. And anyway, just really interesting, just local Thai man. And he was Mr. so- Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah, I think his name is Swati or something. But anyway, they could call him Mr. T. I don't know, we were like, do you know who Mr. T is? Like to Americans in the US? And he was like, no, we explained it to him. And he was like, oh, and we were like, no, 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 he's a good guy. <laughs> anyway, we hung out, we had a glass of wine, just chatted all about so many things about the local area. He was giving us information on like 
go here, go do that, you know. Anyway, super nice guy. And then um, gave us uh, resort t-shirts, which I was actually very thankful for this morning because this one is like long sleeve, like rash guard. I don't have anything long sleeve and it's a bit chilly out there. So anyway, thank you, Mr. T. Ha ha ha, Mr. Uh, T. <laughs> Call through with a little splash of almond milk. Very delicious and very easy. Sold us on the uh, almond <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we've got both the sails up. We've got a reef in the main because it's kind of squally and we don't have wind speed. So we really don't know how much wind we have. The last thing we want to do is get hit by some gusts because of a storm and overpower this boat because we are not familiar with it. We don't know how well the rigging will hold up. So anyway, we're not going to push it. We've got one motor on. We're doing about five, five and a half knots of speed. And we have to get back to almost the marina today which is why we left so early, because we have to return it tomorrow at 8 a.m. This is sort of the end. This is like, oh, it says between eight by 8.30. Oh, okay. I think in the wow. book, yeah. So you gotta be basically up again at 6.30 so you can then pull in the marina. Oh yeah, this is all early waking up. This is, this is not vacation mode. This is not vacation. <laughs> anyway, it should be like a six hour, seven hour sail today. Breakfast of champions. Mangoes, blueberries, a dollop of yogurt on top of some cinnamon oatmeal. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and we've got a uh, welcome to boat life. There's a lovely leak happening right here, <laughs> causing a uh, bit of a mess here. But that's boats, right? But you know what my favorite part is? What? It's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> It's still morning. This is awesome. The waves have picked up quite a bit. They're still not white capping, so I assume we have like 20 knots of wind. Whenever I work on lines, I'm out here. And you can't see crap. And the water is just. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, uh, I'm having fun. Woo! Anchored. Beautiful, lovely island, sandy beach. The sun is trying to come out. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, check that out. <sighs> well, all packed up and it's time to take the boat back. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to leave. Oh, I am quite sad actually. A week would just, it just wasn't enough. Anyway, got some thoughts on the boat and other things. We'll get to that in a minute. For now, gotta get this boat back. Please don't rain, please don't rain, please don't rain. I think it's gonna rain. It's done nothing but rain yesterday and this morning. It's not enough. It's not. A week is just nothing on a boat. Let me tell you. Nothing. You need at least a month. You just can't do a place justice. Not even one tiny little area. It's just not enough. It's never enough. Never enough. Oh, uh, it just, I thought it would um, like kind of satisfy me, you know, like, oh, this will be good. It'll kind of give you a little break and until the new boat is ready. And now I'm just like, oh, I don't know. It might have just made it worse. <laughs> I sound like a big old complainer. Nobody feels sorry for me. I don't even really feel sorry for me, but that's still the way I feel. Set up your bedroom on too many times before. Ended up staring in the bathroom, you were crying on your bedroom floor. Maybe you could.
So, success. Success. First charter. We pulled in, they grabbed our lines and fueled up the boat while we finished packing up all of our stuff and we're gonna get kicked off here pretty quick, but we've got until they move around to the next spot. So I thought in that time frame, I wanted to kind of talk about that this was not like the perfect trip. It was great, but this is still a boat and this is still boat life and there were problems. Nothing that kept us from having a good time or that we needed to stop for. But one being is that when it started to rain, there is quite a significant leak right here. So that's one thing that they'll have to figure out, but it was like, buckets full and then our refrigerator which is funny because when we first got on we're like eh boat refrigerator like will it even really work it worked too well in fact it actually just froze everything so we had two freezers instead of a fridge and a freezer so they'll sort that out and then the wind anemometer didn't have wind speed while we were out so all things considered in the world of boat life that's not very many problems <laughs> that's pretty good but I felt like I didn't want to hop off without talking about the issues that we did have because this is still a boat and I don't care how many people are tending to it and checking on it and everything else there are there's just always something and I you know just don't want to paint it out like it's some sort of perfect vacation and that you might not have a problem or two to deal with we've heard some absolute horror stories from certain places in the world where the boats were just an absolute wreck others where people never had a single issue so you just never know but this is a boat it is boat life that's again like the try before you buy is pretty fantastic because it just kind of sets you up for are you willing to deal with these issues because for us because it's a charter it is like the best feeling in the world to be like here's your problems cool thanks for the ride yeah. and now we're off we don't have to deal with it at all best boat in the world is your friend's boat it is not all rainbows and sunshine but I don't know I'm still I'm willing to take on all the problems and then some just because the highs are high the highs are high and so sometimes high. the lows are low but man it's worth it for us at least so if you didn't watch our first video then make sure to check that out because that's somewhere along here we kind of that was our check-in process and the first part of our trip we gave a lot of thoughts on chartering and that as well a lot of like how to get a cheap charter anyway that's it bye <laughs>